Hello my soccer universe, I'm back in my chair talking about the Austrian Bundesliga as I promised in my post and since the last time I made a review video, it has been a while, we're gonna talk about two rounds with an emphasis on the one that happened on the weekend and also a little bit on the cup round, although I made short videos on all of these, but you know, I thought it might be better to put it all in under a big umbrella. Um, Although I'm wearing Lask, it was a very off week, especially in the Bombos. They Lask only got one point and probably didn't deserve much more than that. And after the Liverpool high, now the thoughts in Linz. Like what, what I get are getting more and more negative, which I find a little bit unnecessary at this point. Just see it out. The Europa League start, uh, started there is just this ter that transition from European games to uh, league games and, and so on will be a rather tougher one and given that you have more time to prepare for your European games uh, it might as well be that the league results will be lacking for a little bit however I think it still looks good enough to make it into the top six given how the opponents in the league are really not showering self, themselves in glory uh, and I'm looking especially at the two big Vienna teams that are both in a real real funk. Um, we have on one side Rapid Vienna who play quite well and decent against uh, better teams where they actually um, their stars are playing is very adept at getting points from. However they have no idea of how to break down a lesser opponent. And it comes into all this uh, excuse uh, cycle that the other ones are just uh, overbearingly good or that we shouldn't underestimate their nose minus anymore. And there's not re a real rethink of how you should address a game. Austria Vienna on the other side, uh, cash trapped, lost their big scorer from last season in Tabakovic to Hertha Berlin. And they cannot really make up for, for, for that and also have some frailties defensively where they just cannot hold on. And all of that was exemplified in the derby, which we'll talk about, where at one point Austria Vienna had to play almost an entire half with two men less. And they were hanging on for dear life. And this is what Austria Vienna do at the moment. They hang on for dear life, but Rapid Vienna again cannot break down a lesser opponent. And this exemplifies why Salzburg has been so successful in the in this league because the two biggest from Vienna cannot get the SHIT together. But I want to actually start this review in the Austrian Cup uh, where I want to highlight just, just, just as a few results. I mean, the only time that a lower league team beat a uh, uh, upper league team was this far Leoben uh, beating Tirol 3-1. That was the upset of, of the round. And honestly, given how Tirol at the moment are, and given that Leoben are actually doing well in the second league, not that much of an upset. Um, we also had that no, after this round, no uh, team below the second league has qualified. This hasn't happened in a long, 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 long time. So it's only professional teams, although in the second league, there are some semi-professionals in there as well. Um, the oldest team in Austria, first Vienna, uh, it looks tighter than it was. I mean, losing at a 2-0 and 3-1 lead. But, you know, uh, would, 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 would be nice to see Vienna move on. It's probably the team in in the capital that I have probably the most sympathies for. Although, I mean, the Wiener Sport Club, whatever. Uh, the big one, of course, and I made a whole video, video, video about it, was, of course, Austria Salzburg against Red Bull Salzburg. And as expected, the game itself was not much to talk home about. Uh, Dedic or in the 8th minute scored 1-0 then uh, they hit a few of the woodwork and then after the 60 minute mark it's usually when teams that are not at the same level cannot keep up with them and then the goals uh, keep falling so Forsen with two and Pavlovich uh, in almost 10 minute intervals scored the other three goals but that's not the story here the story is that this was the day for Austria Salzburg fans to really show who is the who are the real passionate fans in town and uh, they did so impressively and also you know there were some some things I mean, the, the red bull salzburg bus was delayed because of fans of a blockade and so the game that was uh, scheduled to kick off uh, at a quarter to nine had to kick off in, in the end at uh, 9 30 which is really really late for austria um but then on the other side Austria Salzburg fans were singing and chanting ahead of the game an hour well before that. 
they also got the entire support of all the other Bundesliga league clubs, all the fan bases, uh, the big ones, displayed in Salzburg, nur die Austria, meaning in Salzburg there's only Austria. Uh, be it, I saw it myself in the last game, I saw it uh, at Rapid and Sturm and, and so on. So there was overwhelming support for Austria Salzburg against Red Bull, at least from the organized fan scene in Austria. And they really showed that they had a great TIFO with Mozart clad in purple, hitting uh, a Red Bull with a violin and also saying in Salzburg we are only purple. And then uh, at halftime, um, again, that's a big uh, talk about it at, at the moment, Austria, again, a big pyrotechnics display. Um, the funny thing is that this time the game had only to be halted for the five minutes that this uh, pyro display lasted because all the fog went into the stands. Whereas in other games, and we saw it when I talk about Sturm Graz, but also when um, uh, Rapid Vienna against Sturm had also a same similar one, the fog went onto the field and that was caused the, um, the, the, the game to be halted for a while. But yeah, um, it was Austria Salzburg's day and as much as rivalry there was always between Lask and Austria Salzburg, I would love to see them make it at least into the Saxony League and that the whole stadium discussion can be solved five or five, five, because that's what's really hold hold on my back. Um, Klagenfurt had had to uh, fight hard against Machfeld. Um, had a one nil in the fourth minute, immediately um, considering the equalizer and only in the 23rd, they made it 3 1, but then Meister Hori scored the first one, all, or also scored a second one, and then it was a little bit tight. Lask, this time around, last year in Imps, they had to go to overtime. This time around, and what a scenic uh, panorama it was. You know, uh, all mountains around, and you see the village, it was uh, br brilliant. After eight minutes looking at it, maybe made, 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 made it one nil. Uh, Imst fighting hard, but on the other side, Lask should have uh, done and dusted already sooner. Uh, it took then a penalty by going in the 71st minute to uh, make it two nil, and then in the end, Sanusiba three nil, and it's moving on. Um, and then, almost as a, a surprise, with Union Gurten from Upper Austria, they had to play in the stadium in the old stadium in Ried. Uh, and Rapid took a 1-0 lead, however, they turned it around in the 76th minute, they had a 2-1 lead, that Seidel barely equalized, then the lights went out, and I think that also took out the um, uh, life a little bit of Gurten, and then in overtime, Grüll and Mayulu uh, scored three goals to send Rapid through, but that was almost about to be a big, big failure right there. Um, we also have the draw already for the ne next round. The outstanding game there is, has to be uh, Graz, uh, Graz AK, or GRK as we say in German, and Sturm Graz, a uh, Graz Derby. We pro almost would have gotten it in the Bundesliga, now we have a, li a Linz Derby. I'm afraid, again, ugly scenes will happen because those two fan bases don't like each other. Uh, the other interesting one is, of course, the duel of the Austrias between Vienna and Klagenfurt, where I actually, at this moment, would say Klagenfurt are slight uh, favorites. I think Leoma against Wolfsburg is an interesting one. Lask have to go to Kapfenberg, which should be a win, but on the other side, this might be... Uh, they, 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 they will fight hard. And then Altach against Blau-Weiß could be interesting. So let's go back to the league where on the past weekend we had the big surprise with Blauweiss Linz going to Salzburg and winning. And this came on the back of, Aus of uh, Red Bull Salzburg, I was about to say Austria Salzburg, uh, having a big win in Lisbon against Benfica. They were celebrated as one of the biggest wins ever. And then, yeah, rotation, even the goalkeeper, there were nine, nine players changed. Yes, it was no all gelling, but the effort was all, all, also there. And Blavis Linz deservedly won that one. They should have scored before Ronnie Waldo in 61st, first minute scores from far out. And if you watch that goal, he not only has the time to uh, take the ball without being harried, but he also has the time to look around and pick the corner. Yes, they tried then to put everything uh, right. I mean, there was a four-time substitution in the 65th minute uh, to go normal, normal again. But Blavis Linz uh, hung on and got a deserved win. And even as a last fan, this is bravo. Salzburg usually loses in the fall against these lower league teams. And that is for Blavis Linz. Uh, good for them, I have to say. Uh, let, let, let's see what it will do for their uh, future. 
Wolfsburg at the moment are really the team of the season, or they have at least a striker partnership up, up front uh, that really can cause some trouble. Boakji and Bamba scored two goals at Tirol and it looked all done done and dusted until in a short uh, time they pull it back to 2-2, however, a late uh, penalty, but Zimmermann makes it in 3-2 for Wolfsburg. Um, but Boakji and Bamba, remember those two, 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 two guys. Uh, Austria Vienna again cannot hold on to a lead. Uh, <laughs> fourth minute, they take, take the lead and seventh minute, one, one, Alter. In the end, winning, although there were quite some controversial penalty scenes in there that could have gone Austria's way or should have probably gone Austria's way. We were at Lask against Hartberg uh, with my girls. Not much to talk home, home about. Uh, honestly, he played the same lineup as against Liverpool, and I'm not sure if that was uh, the right thing to do. Yes, I guess with Salzburg making so many changes, I can see that our coach was um, afraid to making too many, but I think I would have made at least a few. Because after opening 20, 20 minutes, that looked all right. Uh, in the first half, Hartberg should, should take the lead. They had they hit twice the wood, wood, woodwork and an open net in addition, uh, right on a rebound of one of these shots. Uh, Avijay, I mean, he says he missed three penalties him, himself. Speaking of missed penalties, yes, Lask was better in the sec second half. Uh, a few, few changes. Then they get a penalty. And Jules sees he's saved, and from that moment on, I knew uh, not, not, nothing was going to happen. There was actually a dangerous attack from Hartberg that probably would have made it 1-0. On the other side, yeah, there were a few chances as well. But um, yeah, it was probably, probably the most disappointing outing to the stadium that we had uh, for now, even within a long while. And then Rapid and Sturm 1-1. Uh, honestly, this was one of those, so those, those games where the two goals came rather, rather quick, an own goal and a pass, 21st and 25th. Sturm also looked a little a little bit gas and Rapid probably would have deserved the win. And again, pyrotechnics, there was the ultras of Rapid, the oldest ultra group in Austria, were celebrating the 35th anniversary with a barrage of uh, tifos and choreographies, all of them worth checking out. I'm not even thinking that the fireworks that came were so uh, worth it to talk, talk about more uh, cho uh, cho choreography where they switched with cards uh, between two different plays. I think it was really, really well done. Although Austria Vienna fans stole part of that choreography as well, which is a dicey thing to go into the derby. On the past weekend, uh, there really were not many goals and that was really surprising when Austria um, Against Austria, Red Bull Salzburg can come back with a 4 0 win at Austria Lustenau. That, that, that's why I've said Austria Lustenau, of course, paying the price for uh, Red Bull losing to Blau West Linz at home. It was already done at the halftime with Simic, Soli, and Konate scoring, and Oskar Kluch gets a fourth one. Blau West Linz, Klangfurt 0 0. Fortunately, that there were goals in Wolfsburg, where Lask usually have won as of the, I don't really remember them losing there. Um, it was a wild beginning where Bamba scored a goal that was offside then Ljubicic who scored four times the last time they played in uh, Wolfsburg scores a goal that was actually well taken but in the build-up build that Paul touches his arm here okay yeah has to come off and then a little bit out of nowhere I mean Lask I think was I don't want to say control because the, but they had some control over the game and then the uh, leading goal for the go-ahead head goal for Wolfsburg came a little bit out of, out of, of nowhere where uh, Boakchi plays it to Bamba um, and the defense for last completely unsorted. Yes, Lukanita was not playing and that was definitely showing. Despite the lead, uh, us, um, Wolfsburg coach Schmidt made two changes, uh, you know, to make his team a little bit more solid and actually countering what Lask was trying to do. From that moment on, Lask did not get a foot on the field. We were kind of a little bit lucky that it was only 2-0. The goal itself came from newly brought on Ibelsberger, who plays it onto Rida, who take, takes a shot that goes through the legs of our goalie, who has been really good this season. It's a clear goalkeeping mistake. They also hit the uh, uh, post once. They hit the post 
second half as well, although last game was better, but I'm a little bit tired of uh, this narrative. The second half, it gets better. Shkutun, you get it for better than the first half, but they were not really big chances. Uh, it got an interest when Veracnik was sent off with a yellow-red. Then Lusk had a few chances, but nothing really where I would say they should get the equalizer. Um, again, only one goal on uh, Sunday it came through Wüttrich, as I said in the short VAV video, uh, where Sturm gets a, a win over Tirol. Hardback Arctic player the nil nil draw, and this was also for Austria Vienna against Rapid Vienna. Although Austria Vienna had a go ahead goal in the, I think it was second minute, but it was just just uh, uh, with the arm, uh, the, the minute mark having passed. Uh, but it was an offside because Gruber touches the ball with his hair barely. I mean, you don't even see a real deflection, but you can, uh, if you slow it down, you can make that he probably has started. So it's offside. And then a whole lot of fight, a whole lot of intensity, but not a whole lot of uh, class in there. Um, it was rough to watch. It was rough to play. Uh, I think the spectacle was on the stands. That's for sure. Second half, that's where the game then became uh, almost a classic one, one would say, because in the 52nd, Holland gets sent, sent off with a second yellow card, and two minutes later, Braunöder uh, take, takes on Grulle as a last man who was uh, darting through goal, although it was close to midfield. The thing that is still boggling my mind with two men more, Rapid had only one chance, one shot on the goal. There actually were chances for Austria Vienna there, with two men less. And that just cannot happen, and it just shows the state. Uh, there's a big blues in Vienna, and they have to get their act together. Uh, I mean, yes, as a Lusk fan or as an outside of Vienna fan, uh, most are happy that the Vienna teams are not doing well. But if we look at it a larger picture, a the league is always better if the two teams from Vienna are doing uh, well, and b those two teams are the only ones that probably can get, uh, garner the resources, especially looking at Rapid, to probably stop Salzburg eventually. But they don't have a plan. And that's there. That's there that they're probably. So, after all these, we have the current, the current standings. I'm in the top three. Yes, it's now a gap uh, again. Lask lost uh, many points. So, um, you could say the top two. Sounds about right. Stuttgart still unbeaten. Uh, and then we have a large midfield that I would say goes from Lask to Rapid, uh, where they are within four points and then the bottom four. And yes, there's Austria Vienna in there. Seem like the teams that are in the bottom four at the moment. Um, as damning as it is, as you can say. Uh, and we see this also reflected in the expected final uh, re regular season standings right here. Uh, up, come, come around. We have again a game to go to. Lask against Altach. Um, I think other, other than that, it's Wolfsburg well, against Sturm Graz. It is a game that I find kind of in interest because Borg, and Bamba, those two might do some damage as well. In any case, Longer video from the Austrian Bundesliga, but I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Uh, drop a line below uh, if you want to add any, anything, any questions or, or so on. And I will talk to you soon about more Austrian Bundesliga next week. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.